Troubleshooting the unresponsive Wii Remote Hello there! Having issues with your Wii Remote? No worries, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to discuss how to troubleshoot an unresponsive Wii Remote or one that's not syncing properly. Check the batteries. Your first step should be to check the batteries. Make sure they're not dead and are inserted correctly in the remote. 1. Remove the battery cover on the back of the Wii Remote. 2. Check the battery level. Replace them if they're dead or low on power. 3. Ensure the batteries are inserted properly. The positive and negative ends should match the symbols in the battery compartment. Reset the Wii Remote Sometimes a simple reset can solve the issue. 1. Press the power button on the Wii console to turn it off. 2. Remove the batteries from the Wii Remote. 3. Wait a few minutes and then reinsert the batteries. 4. Turn the Wii console back on and check if the remote is working. Resync the Wii Remote If the Wii Remote is still not responding, it may be out of sync with the console. Follow these steps to resync your Wii Remote. 1. Press the power button on the Wii console to turn it on. 2. Open the small cover on the front of your Wii console. 3. Press the red sync button that you will see there. 4. Press the sync button on the Wii Remote. This button is located under the battery cover on the back. 5. The player LED on the Wii Remote will stop blinking when the syncing process is complete. Check for physical obstructions. Ensure there's no physical obstruction between the Wii Remote and the sensor bar. Items that can cause interference include wireless devices, large metal objects, microwaves, cordless phones. Try to clear the area around the Wii console and the sensor bar to see if this fixes the issue. And there you have it. Those are the steps you should take if your Wii Remote isn't responding or syncing correctly. Remember, Sometimes all it takes is a simple battery replacement or Wii Remote Reset. But, if you're still experiencing problems, it may be worth contacting Nintendo's customer service for further assistance. I hope this video has been helpful and gets you back to gaming in no time.